That brings us to the Penguin Episode 6 Gold Summit. Despite his enemies' attempts to smoke him out, Oz seeks to expand his reach in the city. Meanwhile, Victor crosses paths with a former adversary. I um, need to talk about Sophia and Eve. Okay. So, I, I just, because I know earlier we talked about how Agatha all along was um, between the two better. Mm-hmm. And it's not saying one is worse, though. No. But the scene between Sophia and Eve Carlo, because this episode, Sophia and Sal are fed up with, with Oz. They mm-hmm. want to find him, obviously, for revenge. So a lot of their interactions is very, like, okay, we see. <laughs> Okay, and I'm not, I'm not even going to touch the sex scene. Not between them, but no. between the therapist and Sophia. I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. Some things <laughs> don't need to be discussed. So, <laughs> but, but so they're smoking. And so, of course, I'll, I'll give it to the writers. Around the same time that Sophia has this idea and finds the panties, I'm like, well, she has met like eve and the girls so Mm -hmm. she 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 through them finds finds eve and then there's this great scene Mm -hmm. like this scene i think is is one of my favorite scenes of the entire show because it's a rarity to see, um, to have this kind of dialogue that is a chess match, mm-hmm. that is very much life and death, and is between two women. Mm-hmm. Now, I know, I know, they're technically talking about a man. Technically. Yeah. But yeah. there are layers that they've been building with Eve Carlo's little, like, presence that has just been lurking in the background and they've allowed this to happen. And so I love the fact that Eve clearly scared ball while simultaneously hats off to the actress simultaneously powerful in this and strong is invites Sophia in gun in hand, clearly no, like one of them, like, Eve's going to bite it. But they have the conversation. And during the conversation, Eve Eve makes it clear, like, I know who you are. You're the hangman. And then we get into the, this conversation about, well, is Sophia's not the um, hangman. And Oz knew about it. Now, I want to circle back onto that. <laughs> but yeah. I don't want to lose track on this. Just because... I know at the end of the day, Eve sold Oz out, mm-hmm. but she did it in such a noble way. I can't be mad at her mm-hmm. because because she took account everything that Sophia said in terms of her not being the hangman, Oz selling her out and causing her to become the hangman for public appearance sake. Mm-hmm. And... And then the the quid pro, pro, pro quid pro quo of it all, where it's like, so you're gonna kill me? I mean, that's what you do. You're the hangman, or or you're not anymore. I think she says, but that's yeah. not you, right? And then it's at that moment that Sophia's like, damn, checkmate. Because if I shoot her, I am the killer. Yeah. But if yeah. I don't, like, like it was it's so good. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of why I think at the end, although I, I don't I don't know how much more remorse we're going to get from Sophia. But at the end, she's more observing rather than just going in there swinging um, for the fences. But she, she it's it's such a great scene. And and I like how. Okay, okay, Sophia Sophia doesn't know. She's getting out. It looks like Eve's going to live. And then Eve just nonchalantly is like, here's where they are. 
Yeah. You didn't hear it from me. I do wonder <laughs> if if that's going to turn around and bite her in the ass and, and Oz is going to find out and ultimately he's going to kill her. Um, but I just, I, I just, it was beautifully written. It was, yeah. it, it made perfect sense. Each character's question, response and action. And, and I just, I just, it stood out so much to me that I just wanted to start there. Um, but but it does raise that question to me from what we know and especially talking about that fifth episode and Sophia's backstory of how she got thrown into Arkham. Will, do you think Oz really knew that it was Carmine behind the murders and that he would do that? Or did he just tip him off that your daughter's talking to reporters? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. Um, knowing Oz and knowing how he operates, I think he was governor for Carmine. Okay. I do. I do okay. now, now. I think, I, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, that's how he operates. I mean, he, he sees, uh, he sees an opportunity. And, you know, we, and at the end of the day, he is, you know, he's, he's, he's a power client. He's, he's trying to climb that ladder. And he thought this was a way to like gain favor with Carmine to get to, to, to advance his, to advance himself. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I, I, I don't the and maybe it's just because underneath all of that makeup is Colin Farrell de- delivering one hell of a performance. So he makes Oz look like a really good actor. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, for some reason, I keep flashing back to him, him warning Sophia. And then especially when they get pulled over in the car, he just seemed really confused to me. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why. But he does that. I like, mean, because, yeah, I mean, I think that's just, I mean, even when Oz is telling the truth, that, that's the thing. It's just like, he's, like, when he told Sophia there in the parking lot, he was telling her the truth. I'm sorry, I did this, you know? Because he, he basically confessed to, like, not protecting her. Right, right. Which would, but there are two different things. Like, that's not a confession that, yeah, I knew your dad killed your mom. No. I knew your dad killed those women. And I threw you to him and saying, hey, here's your scapegoat. Yeah. That, yeah. that was more him saying, I told him admitting, here's my interpretation of it. Yeah. That was him more saying, yeah, I told your dad something. Like, remember, we technically have not seen that conversation. Right, right. So we don't really know for sure what he knew and what he told. All we knew was the consequence of it all. Yeah. So so I took it more as like, yeah, I, I did something that ultimately led to you being thrown into Arkham instead of your dad. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. And that's why that's why I answered your question the way I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we're, then we're on the same page because, yeah. because I agree. I'm not, I'm not here claiming he's innocent and I don't know yeah. means, yeah. Yeah. but I, the, when, when in taught in, in this scene between Eve and Sophia, Sophia makes it seem like he knew everything, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, he was your driver. So how much did he know? about everything that your dad was up to so and and we also don't know how long he has been her driver so they're doing a good job about making making me still see and understand two perspectives on this series of events Mm -hmm. and um and the the kind of the the lack of specific specifics um, caused me to be like, okay, well, neither are technically lying, but we also still 
don't know the full story. Yep. <laughs> so, so I understand your different points. And and still, despite everything else, I mean, Arkham or no Arkham, he killed her brother. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and OK, the there's another scene that I want to bring up um, and and get into more of Oz's storyline in this episode mm-hmm. with his mom. Because the scene where Vic comes and is is trying to talk to him about Squid mm-hmm. and his problem he has, mm-hmm. there's this is a combination of Colin Farrell just nailing everything and also the dialogue. The fact, like, just the... Vic talking and then all of a sudden Oz and he looks like he's going to respond. And then he just goes into a very casual, very boyish um, thought about him being unable to protect his mom Mm -hmm. because the doctors who have these diplomas and these machines don't know what she has so how the fuck is he supposed to protect her from something no one knows what it is? Like, it's mm-hmm. the imaginary mm-hmm. friend. Yeah. And he says it in such a beautiful way, such an endearing way, mm-hmm. and a hopelessness. Yet that, but also just the way it was executed and written, I was just like, that's how you write dialogue. Yeah. Like, there, there, we, we get, we've seen so many shows with hunker da- down exposition and everything, but that came out of left field while simultaneously it wasn't because of previous scenes we've seen between him and his mom in particular in this episode. It's just like, yeah, that's what he's focused on. Mm-hmm. And and I just, I, I loved that whole moment so much. I mean, give him the Emmy. Yeah. S- sorry, yeah. Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's going to be sporting. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that, it's like, put me in the supporting category because Colin's going to win this year. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. I mean, that scene um, with, with uh, yeah, yeah that, that's, but, uh, you know, I think it, it really just showed that, that for me, like Oz, that's probably the one. That's the one level of, I guess, humanity or whatever you want to call it that he has is through his mother, and and maybe to some degree with Vic. Um, yes. Um, as 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 things, because you know, as the episode, you know, we whenever the episode first starts, um, uh, you know, we we get it's a little, you know, it's a little bit of a time jump. I think it's about a week or so since they found the tunnels and they, you know, things are fully fully humming and. And then, you know, and again, there's that that moment between Oz and Vic and, you know, talking about they're going to remember our names and the whole, you know, Oz was, he, you know, we had another Rex Calabrese moment uh, there at the beginning. And, you know, Oz is feeling, he's feeling like I'm, I'm doing something here and he's feeling very proud and he's, you know, Oz and Vic are going to be the legends of Gotham uh, for what they, what, you know, like, like, you know, Oz is how Oz sees Rex now. Oz is going to be in that. You know, he's going to be held on that same pedestal in the, in the in the in the Gotham because of all the good he's doing for the people in Crown Point. So you know, so that was really that that moment, like you sh- as, that you shared, um, where I think those are only some of the moments of vulnerability that this character shows uh, with his ma and, and with Vic that you know other people just don't get to see. Yeah, it's interesting that the gangster he keeps referencing is Rex, and mm-hmm. we learn that his dead brothers are both named Jack and Rex. No, his other, no, his other, his brothers Jack and Benny. Rex is Jack and Benny. Yeah. So yeah, who's Rex... the dad? Because I almost feel like there was a name drop of the dad, and I'm trying to look at my notes. Um, yes. Yeah, there's still ben, there's the, no. the dad's. The, the dad's unnamed still. There's been that's references. Name? Okay. Yeah, that's the because... one named. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, Rex... I might have to rewatch. Yeah, but it we, but because... we did. 
Yeah, though we, you know, we 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 theorized that Rex could be Oz's unnamed father. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I could have sworn she said she said Rex at one point. She did, not him. Yeah. yeah. Um, because there there were moments because this episode. Um, now it we, could be yeah. It, it yeah, could be but the east side thing, you know, because you know that they are, you know, they they are people from the east side, and, and Rex was the, you know, the, the you know, maybe there's a connection there with the with the brothers, with Oz's brothers yeah. being killed with Rex. Maybe, maybe. yeah, maybe that's the um, yeah. maybe potentially. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we have a great um, breakfast moment. Between mm-hmm. our um, cold ass family, yep. <laughs> who are just freezing, yep. um, but they're able to scramble up some some um, eggs, and and it, uh, um, Oz's mom is kind of taken out of it, and and Vic tries to help, and I'm like, keep going, Vic. We're gonna get some answers yep. <laughs> about this history of Oz's family, but Oz shuts it down. Um, and then later we have um, another, the actress who plays, um, is is Oz's mom named Louise? Uh, Francis. Or Francis. Francis. Yeah. The, the actress who plays Francis is just continues to deliver mm-hmm. and, it, and it's like a great performance um, for many of the things that were mentioned last week, but also this scene in the tub. And the, again, there's something so hopeless about all of these moments with Oz and his mom in this mm-hmm. episode. Yeah. And even to some extent, Vic. Mm-hmm. And just the situation. And and I think they did that very well. Because you we have to root for them to get the power back on by any means necessary. We have to root for them for doing these things because we like, we want them to have hope and not be so hopeless. And, and it, um, there was a line because she, she tells them if my, if my body, if my mind goes before my body, take me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) And I, Love his response. You're not a dog. You're my mom. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's just so. Again, I I like how the the dialogue is written in such a natural way, while at the same time using great metaphors. And but it's just like, yeah, that that would be his response because mm-hmm. like. She she's all he has left and has and it's almost we we talk about how Oz is constantly wanting to prove himself and um w- wants the power. Like mm-hmm. he's power hungry, he's got he's got little man disabled, like he's got like I need to prove that I'm better if mm-hmm. not I can eat at the same table as you all. Yeah. Um, I'm just a poor kid, but I want you to see me as a rich man. And and yet in this situation with his mom, it's not about that. It's just about like protecting this person who protected him to some extent. Mm-hmm. And and it's the hopelessness because she's fading and he can't do anything about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and yeah, and then he, you know, he, uh, yeah, and then he just, you know, uses, and but but because of that, feelings of hopelessness, he's like, okay, how can I turn this into an opportunity? And then he, you know, and he, and he, not huh? with his mom, no, not with no, his mom, though. No, not with his mom, but at least as far as the opportunity to like, what can he, you know, whenever he like did confront the city councilman, because I think you know, it goes back to the. You know, beginning of the episode where he talks about, you know, where like the, you know, when he was trying to get the gener, you know, the, the, the electricity yeah. siphoned off for you know, for the tunnels, you know, at first it was like the motivation was to so he can make his make the bliss, uh, but right. then, but then, um, but then once they couldn't get the generator to work in the apartment, 
to your point about breakfast and uh and and, and then he and because of the hopelessness that he feels for his ma um yeah then he's just like okay i'm going to figure out a way you know the the, the motivation has shifted from just yep, just from the exactly. bliss to now getting you know getting that getting warmth back into the city and, and, and crown point uh and and, and, and leveraging the city point. yep yeah and being being a robin hood mm-hmm. which which i think is it like this episode really showcased to me what a great foil to bruce wayne he is yeah. mm-hmm. because bruce wayne is the rich guy yeah yep <laughs> he's yeah. the rich guy who who like drowns in sorrow because of the death of his parents and all that we know we know who bruce wayne is Mm -hmm. but now we have oz who he's just this poor kid and i'm glad you brought up bliss at the beginning just because i didn't think about it until now about how that that drug dealing um underground part was so underplayed in mm-hmm. this episode if you really think about it that the a lot of the longer sequences a lot of the longer shots were all occurring in this in this um apartment building yeah. that was that's in crown's point that we we know from vic's episode earlier like had there was so much life there but now after the events of um, the Riddler has has become a place of squalor, and like now we're finding out more about how the city is just turning a blind eye to it because the poor people live there, and it's mm-hmm. just it allows it fuels the speech at the end of the episode at gold summit um which turns out to just be oz pitching himself to all of the gangsters and and really saying if we all come together we can we can run sal and sophia out of town yeah he's not technically lying um (laughs) and, (laughs) and and who who are the rich the rich gangsters it's it's interesting how they did a good job about about making sure it's clear, like even in this underground um, sector of Gotham, there's a hierarchy and mm-hmm. there's a classes, there's a class system, and yep. and, and and so there's this. Like I, I I know at the beginning we kept talking about power vacuum, but it's not even a power vacuum. It's just more like. Okay, well, do we really need these two like controlling majority, or can the minority, if c- they come together, become the majority? So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It definitely, it's almost it is it is a very class almost ca- almost caste system <laughs> as far as the, yeah. you know with the with the uh, you know even uh, I, I, you know I didn't think about that until you like drew the parallels between the two. Um, you know the underworld has this system of of of, of class is classism as well as the you know the, just the normal rich you know corrupt politicians mm-hmm. and other rich people Bruce Wayne that we see that in, yeah. in, in Gotham. Um, it's just so many so many parallels, and I think that just makes for a very compelling story um, and, and why this show is just working working so well. And you know, and, and as we as we talk about this episode too, you know, one of the things. You know, we mentioned you mentioned the word family when you were talking about Sal and and, and Sophia, and and really it was just, you know, I guess the found family is that recurring theme that has sort of been interspersed throughout the series, but it really was on display here, as far as the storytelling, uh, ele- you know, the, the the story beats that were focused on. You know, we have Oz, the found family of Oz, Vic, and Oz's mother. We have the, you know, Oz and the other crime families. You know, to like consolidate their power to overtake Sophia and Sal, um, mm-hmm. you know, Eve and her girls. I mean, that was, you know, that was that found family because, you know, that was. I think that's what made that opening scene that that scene that you open up with so so powerful. It's because you know Eve, you know, she she you know she knew about the hangman. She actually told one of her girls to like draw her up, 
you know, let her, you know, whenever she's going to be asking about around on the street, you know, yeah. tell her, to, tell her to come up because she, again, Eve wanted to protect her girls. So yeah. They did, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, they had that encounter at the club that night. And, um, and it also was sort of, you know, fulfilling, you know, Eve from the very beginning was like worried that, you know, it was going to lead back, Al's actions were going to lead yeah. back to her. And yeah. It finally, it yeah. finally did. So she's been planning for this. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. she's she she cut ties that's part of yeah. the reason why she didn't go to crown's point with us yeah. because yeah. she didn't she didn't want anything to do with it or the hangman yeah. i yeah. think it's also worth pointing out um with how how you brought up um the continued stories of rex calabari that we're hearing um during gold summit another reason why it's so evident these people would suddenly start to listen to Oz is because he played that card of, I know who y'all are. Mm -hmm. I know your family. He has that line about Benny yep. <laughs> <laughs> or like, like your, your, your father built that bridge and, and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, like, they boy, forgot yeah. Our names. yeah. Like, and it's something, it's something out of, out of, I don't know. I keep thinking, I keep thinking about a movie the Newsies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Classic, classic, classic. Okay. Christian Bale in his prime. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Christian Bale in his prime was Batman. <laughs> but still. Okay. If you ever want to watch Batman carry a tune, go check out the Newsies. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I wonder if it's on Disney+. Plus. My brother was obsessed with that. We watched it like at least once a year during my that's childhood. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm very familiar with it, but I keep thinking about that, that whole thing. Cause it was about the news, the newsboys banding together to overthrow the, the newspaper company and publishing mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And it just, this whole gold summit turns into a scene that feels like it's out of the newsies mm -hmm. where it's like, the, we can't let them get away with this. We got to come together and rise up because because we're the working men. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's a stretch because arguably all of, like, the people he's talking to are primarily the bosses of the working men. But still, yeah. he, he, he uses that card um, to unionize. And, yeah. and I think that's, that it's a showcase of, of again, what this series is set up to do is how Penguin comes into power the way he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's totally yeah that yeah. I mean, like you said, we set it up that foil um, with with like in the, again the class system and yeah because yeah I mean it was the, he he hit all the right buttons you know it's like you know, talking yep. about Donny yeah hey, Donny Boy in the bridge and. And yep. even even at the end, you know, when, when Zhao like finally, um, you know, you know, challenges us about the code, and he's like, yeah, you know, I do have, you know, and he, you know, he just throws everything back. I mean, he had, you know, he he it was just a, that was a very solid moment too, and and, it, and it's believe, you know, and all the things that they've led up to this moment, it it shows why it's believable that he does become the you know gentleman criminal lead of, of of gotham yeah the the other big thing that happens in this episode is um vic kills squid yeah yeah that was the one place where i was kind of like okay i saw where it was you know we saw it coming so i was kind of a little underwhelmed by the, the it, it, it but also the, but i think the reaction of vic um with with Oz and and then I think what 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 but what helped make it more salient for me was when Vic was sitting there in in the in the apartment and he saw the blood stain on the shoe and he was like rubbing it off because I think that was where it was just like you know the, the circle is you know he has completely fallen <laughs> from the kid that you know had a choice multiple times to like get out of this world but he, he has decided to, to to go this route and he's he's fully committed to it now well he he kind of does it accidentally in a weird way yeah yeah like, well, like, like it, 
Yeah. And he tried it. to talk to Oz about it, but wrong yeah. time, wrong time to bring that up. And then yeah. he ends up having to, like, he, I don't, a fall from grace is hard. He, he's, he definitely, it's like, okay, well, where are you going to go from here? Like, we'll yeah. see next week if that haunts him, but, but now we don't know. He, he's going to be in a hostage situation with Sophia. And, and if Sophia finds out that he, um, kind of helped Oz bury her her brother <laughs> in a weird way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know how much is coming out of that. I, I honestly um I like how there's I don't I don't know. There's there's a bit of doubt now in my mind if if Vic will make it past this season. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's more likely that we'll say goodbye to Francis by by the end of this um, and not both. I, I don't think it's going to be both, but no, I agree. Um, but but I do appreciate the little bit of doubt now where I'm like, I don't know, it could go either way. 50 um, 50. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I. So so I I did like that moment with the blood on the shoes too. I I thought it was just enough. Um although <laughs> by that point in the episode what kind of killed me is like, "Oh, okay, you're going to let him go home." And that's when Sophie is going to walk in. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so he's at home while you're doing this. And you've left the two people who you arguably care about the most in the same location that just so happens. So God, so I saw that whole thing. I still yeah. really appreciated the lights coming on, the music mm-hmm. start playing, and then the dan- dancing. Because again, it's just like Oz isn't there. But by the point that point in this episode, it's just like you like with everything coming back on there's life there's energy yeah. and there's hope yep um so it's just so yeah you, it's it, yeah yeah just when you have hope and then you see so sophia like you know slinking up in there and it's you know with the you know whenever you hear the, and the thing is too like vic actually heard you know her like break you know breaking into the place and you know, because he gets up, and but then you know the music, the power comes on, the music is really loud, and and you know, so yeah, you're right. I mean, it's just like everything, just the the, the, the convergence of, of 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 things happening. Um, you know, yeah. You, are, you, 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 you yeah, you, you, you framed it perfectly. It's like you do have hope, and then all of a sudden, oh shit, <laughs> cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're still like this is a TV show that has a few more episodes to go, but you're still like oh shit. Well, yeah, yeah. I I wish she was a little bit more sinister looking because she mm-hmm. she honestly just looked like I don't even know how to describe it. She just yeah. she had this state of like, oh, I'm I'm a peeping Tom right now and just watching. Well, this. well, you know, it goes back to like, you know, whenever they broke into Oz, when she and Stella broke into his apartment all this time, she thought that his family, he had no family. So yeah. now that you know, yeah. she, it was almost like it was stunned. She was uh, maybe stunned that. Yes, that that's a fair point. That's a fair yeah. point that I've, I I didn't forget, but yes, she was under the impression the mom was dead. Mm-hmm. She didn't know anything about the dad. Yeah. Um. So, which we're under the impression that almost the dad's pretty much dead, and and the mom's all he has, but we also. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, so they kind of did a reverse of mm-hmm. perspective between the viewers and Sophia, but but yeah, that's that's fair that she would be like, wait a second, why is an old lady here dancing with, and 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 she knows Vic, she's right. met him, so I'm sure I'm sure she's placed his face, but I don't know. They they had such brief interactions that I don't know by how much, um, she she puts two two and two together. Yeah. Um, but well, that, that sets us up for next week.